Here's a short video on how to create your Sign Up Genius link for your Fall 2020 parent-teacher conferences. As you probably have already heard, we will not be having any face-to-face -face conferences this fall. Um, parents are not going to be coming in the building. So instead, we are going to offer parents two choices. Choice number one is to have a virtual conference with you, and that would either be a Zoom link or a Google Meet if you'd prefer. The second option that parents can choose is to have a phone conference where there would be a time where you would call them um, and have the conversation about their students. Um, we are going to require every teacher to do a Sign Up Genius link. And if you haven't used Sign Up Genius before, it is super easy. It's more or less just creating an online sign up where parents can designate what time for them works best. And we're also going to include um, where they tell us what their preference is. If they want a virtual conference um, through the screen face to face, or if they would rather have a phone conversation. So with um, without further ado, let's get started. So I am going to open a new tab and I am going to go to signupgenius.com. My computer um, knows me and knows that I use Sign Up Genius a lot. So my username and password is saved. If you have never created an account, this would be the place where you would be prompted to create an account. Or if you have used Sign Up Geniuses in the past, um, hopefully you have a username and password or can um, figure out how to reset it. I'm simply going to hit log in. And we are ready. On this screen, it will show me previous signups. I don't care about those. I'm going to go up to the top right, the green create a signup button. And now I simply get started. We are requesting that everyone uh, do a signup title that includes your last name. So I'm going to call this Koch Fall Conference 2020. Is whatever you want to title it, as long as it includes your last name so we know whose link is whose, that's great. Selecting a group, I are, um, use variety, so I have a drop down. Otherwise, you can type in Bell Plain Junior Senior High, BPHS. Type is staying general. Category, I'm going to mark it as education. That's required. And now for theme design, it could really be any design that I'd like. I um, do not have the paid version of Sign Up Genius, and I don't recommend you get it either. So instead of saying all, I'm going to go free, and I only want the options to use free backgrounds. And for our purposes today, I'm going to start typing in conferences, and it already gives me a variety of things that I can choose from. I'm going to go over here just to this one. Looks good to me. I scroll down a little bit and I can see the beginning of the sign up genius that I'm creating. So instead of just this generic thing that they give us, I'm going to click the edit button because I want to change that. And to make it super um, easy for you, we are also giving you the wording if you want to use it. So right here, um, I'll, this will be included. I have um, wording already created. So if you want to go ahead and use the wording that I already have staged, that's great. Just open up that document and I'm going to control A it or select it all. And I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back to my sign up genius. Click that edit pencil. I'm going to highlight over what they have as their generic one. Okay. And I'm going to paste the wording into it. So what you're going to find is I did lose my highlighting and, you know, that's okay. I'm not too broken hearted, but I would like to get my highlighting back. So since this is new, I'm going to highlight the whole indicate whether you'd like a Zoom or a phone conference. And to highlight it, I simply highlight it with my cursor. And then I'm going to go up to this A right here and I'm going to choose a yellow background. Okay. And so it simply tells them parent-teacher conferences are Monday, October 26th and Tuesday, October 27th, that we're going to choose the Zoom or the phone call, and we need them to specify which one. I'm simply going to hit done, and now my wording is there. 
One thing that I will tell you is that just make sure it's visible. You know, if you choose to change the color of your font, just make sure it's easy to read, okay? So this is all generic. If you wanted to sign it and make it yours, you certainly could. I'm just going to have a save and continue button at the bottom. And this is where it gets a little more complicated, but we're going to tell you exactly what to do. Please click sort by slot. Okay. And now you're going to click the add slots button. All right. Well, title of the slot is going to be conference with Mrs. Koch. So title it something. Okay. Number wanted is one. The help comment, I'm going to put something in that just says, please indicate phone or virtual conference preference. All right. I only want one person, two time slot. I'm going to say save. Okay. So now I'm going to go over here and add dates. Across the top, there are three different options. Please hit add time slots. Dates of the event, I choose from their calendar. I'm going to pick the October 26th, and I'm going to pick October 27th. That's a Monday and Tuesday. We are correct. The time range, conferences will start at 3.30 p.m., make sure you change that a.m. to a p.m., and they will end at 7 o'clock p.m. And that um, will allow that your conferences will end at 7 o'clock p.m. Okay, time slot increment. When we meet face-to-face, -face, time slots are usually 15 to 20 minutes. So you will have to allow for the technology or the phone call of it. So I am going to keep mine at 20 minutes this time. And location um, is an optional thing. So I'm either going to put virtual or phone. And I want it to apply to all available slots. So I am going to click add time slots. And now I see um, conference with Mrs. Koch every time like 3.30 to 3.50 virtual or phone. And I don't need to um, do anything to it. If I know that I'm going to be unavailable at a certain time, I can go through and delete the slots that won't work for my personal schedule. But for our purposes today, I'm just going to say I'm totally available and it will end there. You'll notice that there are different pages um, of conferences here. I can show more and I can see the broader variety of it and you can see we have 20 minute time slots Monday through Tuesday, and they can just sign up for any which one. I hit save and continue. And this is where it's a little bit different. Name I'm gonna require, email I'm gonna require, comment I am going to switch from optional to required. Okay, and then I'm gonna click this more and I'm gonna click that phone is required because I wanna know their phone number. And now I'm gonna hit add a custom question. Okay, and my custom question is, um, I've already created it, is I hit create a new question and I would put, would you prefer to meet via Zoom or by phone? Okay, and I'm gonna click that. I'm going to edit just to show you guys what it looks like. Question format option button, radio values just means what do they get to choose from and I just put Zoom comma phone. If you're going to use Google Meet, you wouldn't have to say um, Zoom obviously, you could put Google Meet there. Question status is required and then I just have a help comment of if you select Zoom, you will receive an email with the link to join the meeting. If you select phone, the staff member will call you at the designated time. Or I could put, I will call you. I'm going to hit save. Okay, and then I'm going to hit return to sign up. Alrighty. Um, comment, I do require it just because I want to make sure they indicate their preference. 
since this is required, it won't let them submit if they um, don't indicate it, but it's, it's a little bit of a far scroll down for the parent. So we just want to make sure they also know, let's put it in the comment or make some kind of comment. Let's um, stay with some clear communication. Okay, so I now scroll down and then there's preferences. I'm going to uncheck the box for allow people to swap site slots with each other. And now I hit save and continue. And there's my preview of my sign up genius. Okay, all looks good to me. I click the publish button. And I now see the link. So you are simply going to hit copy the link. Okay, and you will now paste that into our chart of people's parent teacher conference um, Zoom links. So you will put your name and your conference link so we all have access and we can see the different things for parent signups. I will include that document also in um, the email I'm about to share with you. Okay, so all you need to do is copy the link. You don't need to um, send it out via email or anything yet. We just want your sign up genius created. All right, so for the sake of things, once I copy the link, that link will be emailed out or texted out to our parents. I just want to show you what it looks like from their perspective if you've never seen it before. So when my parents, when the parents of the students that I have, go they're going to simply see this and they're going to see all the available times they're going to simply be able to click which time they want let's say i want 410 i'm going to click that and then i hit submit and sign up and they're signing up for a conference my comment i'm going to put i want to zoom and I'm going to indicate down here, zoom again, and then I will hit sign up and it will go. So each of our parents will see this screen and then you'll receive a notification to your email every time someone signs up. So that is um, 12 minutes, a little bit over of a video showing you how to create a sign up genius. Hopefully it wasn't too long and cumbersome. If you do need help, please don't hesitate to come my way. I'll be glad to help you set up your link and then we will wait further instructions from there. Conferences are October 26th and 27th, so we will be sending this link out to advisors and parents soon.